Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. Today I'm sharing a tutorial on how to make a 5 star hotel for bees and other types of insects. Why do insects need hotels you may ask? Well, due to loss of natural habitat, some insects are threatened by extinction, which is why insect hotels can be used to provide shelter for them. Insects play an important role in the ecosystem as pollinators, or food for other animals, such as birds and lizards, and insects also break down waste and dead animals into soil, which is why today's video is dedicated to preserving the biodiversity by means of constructing a shelter suitable for insects. The insect hotel that you see on the screen right now has a top compartment full of bamboo sticks with an inner diameter between 3 and 12 mm. Beneath that, a compartment full of scrap pieces of wood with holes drilled into them. And beneath that, a compartment full of pine cones and a watering station in the bottom. The most important thing about the watering station is that it should be shallow with plenty of rocks and pebbles. Insects can easily drown in water that is too deep, so having a surface that they can land on and drink without putting themselves in danger is ideal. The only drawback of having shallow water, however, is that it evaporates quickly. This is why I have placed a glass bottle full of water upside down, resting on the pebbles. As the water evaporates from the tray, fresh water comes down from the bottle and it restores the optimal water level. I have placed the hotel on top of a small table since it is quite heavy, but it is possible to mount it to a wall. The place that I have picked for the insect hotel in my yard is underneath a tree next to a composter and a patch of bee-friendly flowers. Keep watching to see how I have constructed this little haven for insects. So, what tools and materials do I need to construct a luxurious insect hotel? I need four untreated planks, size 210 cm by 12 cm by 1.2 cm. As you can see, I have already cut them into pieces with the help of a circular saw, a hacksaw, a vise, and I also use the sander to smooth on the edges. Here is a list of each piece's dimensions. Please feel free to pause the video to capture the list. I also need one galvanized metal net, the size of the holes is 12.7 mm, one stainless steel tray, size 35 cm by 26 cm by 6 cm, 18 pine cones, wood scraps from the cutting of the planks, rocks and pebbles, enough to fill the tray, one glass bottle of 750 milliliters, nails size 1.8 mm by 30 mm, two magnetic door stoppers, two galvanized hinges size 25 mm by 22 mm by 0.4 mm, four screws size 3 mm by 12 mm, 10 screws size 3 mm by 8 mm, one eye screw. I also need bamboo sticks, which are not visible at the moment since the workbench is already full, but the important thing about them is that they need to have an inner diameter between 3 mm and 12 mm. The bamboo sticks need to be cut into 10.8 cm pieces and their cores need to be cleaned with a drill so that there are no sharp edges uh, which could potentially hurt the insects. The tools that I need for the assembly are a hammer, a screwdriver, cable cutters, a measuring tape, a ruler, a pencil and a drill. I may also need a sander and a saw if the pieces don't fit quite right, but if my measurements are correct everything should fit just fine. So, let's get started.
So, this was all for today. I hope that you have enjoyed the video. Please consider giving it a thumbs up if you did. And if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel so that you may be informed when a new video becomes available. As always, thank you for watching.